what's good y'all your boy ross back at again with another video so i'm gonna check out 10 times kurt angle went full perk angle this should be a very interesting one by cultaholic wrestling we all know about the infamous perk angle my man was taking damn near 70 pills a day just to deal with the pain but it didn't matter because my man was just all over the place i mean he was just throwing caution to the wind when it came to him wrestling so we're gonna check out some of the moments where he literally went full perk angle appreciate all the love and support you guys have shown on the channel let's get right professional into professional wrestlers moment. of all time a member of many halls of fame angle's accomplishments speak for themselves and he deserves the utmost respect for his contributions to the sport always but let's face it the man has also become something of a meme in recent yes, years yes yes <laughs> some sections of the internet wrestling community celebrate not just kurt's title triumphs and epic matches but also the times where he became perk, perk angle, angle yeah i won't get into the particulars if you know you know but in this instance we're using the term perk to describe those moments where kurt seemingly found a whole other level of intensity or insanity uh -huh. from which to operate on. Ladies and gentlemen, the <laughs> bean is well and truly about to kick in. I'm Adam Pacitti from <laughs> Cultaholic Wrestling, and these are 10 times Kurt Angle went full perk. Yeah! Number 10, trying to break the rocks ankle. A No Way Out 2000, Kurt Angle beat Chris Jericho to add the Intercontinental title to the European Championship he had been in possession of for the past couple of weeks. A year later, Angle, who had been on the WWE roster for less than 18 months, was walking into No Way Out as the defending WWE Champion, putting his title on the line against The Rock in the show's headliner. It caught on quickly, didn't he? Mm -hmm. The pay-per-view poster boy had been freakishly good from the start, but at this stage he had really ramped up one of his famed three arms intensity and he had to be at his very best against the great one the two putting on a tremendous back and forth battle digging deep into his arsenal angle busted out what would be one of his favored weapons going forward the ankle lock yep. debuting his new finisher clearly excited the olympian who shouted at the top of his lungs spit flying from his mouth tap out you son of a bitch mm -hmm. do it now i'll break your well you know what foot i for one believe him Number nine, trying yep, to get booed. Man. Uh, <laughs> when he, it's just funny how you've seen the glimpses of that intensity early on, and it, it just he became nothing but intensity. I love it. Love the trends, the transition of his character. Good at New Year's Revolution. After several years of spellbinding in-ring performances and memorable moments, fans found it hard to hate Kurt Angle. He'd given so much for their entertainment and had genuinely been one of the best wrestlers in the world for a while by that point, so it was hard not to applaud and cheer him on, even if just out of respect. Drawing attention to his own unwavering popularity while ostensibly portraying a heel at New Year's mm -hmm. Revolution 2006, Kurt delivered a completely OTT backstage promo. Yeah. Flanked by manager Davari, the man who had proudly represented his country said that he hoped the USA lost the war in Iraq. Yep. In addition, he felt as though the greatest country in the world was actually France. Wee oui, wee. Oui. Continuing, he admitted that he wasn't a very big fan of the, the black blacks. people, complete uh, with air quotes. Hammer I was just like, oh, they're trying so hard to make us hate him, bro. And it worked a little bit for me. It's like, what you mean by the blacks? Hold on, Kurt. I don't give a fuck about your damn pill addiction. I'll give you an addiction, all right. <laughs> During his points home, he professed the one historical figure he would love to make tap out was Jesus Christ himself. Yeah. It was all said with a heavy coating of sarcasm, and Angle was naturally still cheered when he entered the elimination chamber and began wrecking people later that night. Yeah. Number eight, tranquilizing the big show. Oh. Kurt Angle had this ship <laughs> this nigga was wild bro he was in some wild storylines <laughs> every right to be mad at the big show in 2004 the world's largest athletes had lest we forget went on a rampage and choke slammed our olympic yeah. hero from a high <laughs> ledge down to a concrete floor that day. He, bro, he tried to kill him bro <laughs> April, putting him in a wheelchair which was storyline cover to allow Angle to recover from yet another neck operation. Show disappeared for a while to have surgery of his own, but came back in September and went after the now former SmackDown general manager. 
Angle realized the threat the big nasty bastard carried and did the logical thing we would all do if we were being pursued by a pissed off giant. He shot him with a tranquilizer <laughs> gun and shaved his hair off. Yes, with the help of Mark Jindrak and Luther Reigns, Angle went all King Kong on Paul White, well, shot him with a dart before giving him a short back and sides. It was a memorable angle, no pun intended, and Kurt looked like he was having the time of his life posing over his prey while smiling like a perked up big game hunter. Number seven, <laughs> sexy Kurt. One of the more frightening things about our old pal Percules was his ability Hercules. to go from playing the clown and taking the mick out of himself one minute to looking like a straight up dangerous psychopath the next. Mm -hmm. Endearing yet terrifying, Kurt was adept at flipping the switch and getting serious when the situation called for it. Mm -hmm. One of Angle's most famous WWE segments was his rendition of Sexy Kurt, his own braggadocious take <laughs> on the theme song for WrestleMania opponent Shawn Michaels. Fun I think I'm cute. <laughs> I got gold medals. I got the moves to make them all tap out the angle slam. The ankle lock. Marty Janetti still can't walk. I'm just a sexy cut. <laughs> sexy cut. Well, you know how it goes. It was genuinely hilarious, and he was clearly enjoying every second of it. However, once the Heartbreak Kid cosplay was done with, Kurt flipped the switch and attacked Sean's former mm -hmm. flame sensational Sherry Martell, trapping her in the ankle lock mm -hmm. as she wailed in agony. Serves you right to be honest, Sherry. Bro, he did. That's what made it made it so entertaining. He could be goofy, but when he got serious. It was terrifying. <laughs> you should have known better than to trust a bald man in chaps. Number six, Kurt walks around backstage in his underwear beating people up. It's exactly what it says it is, all right? A show-long storyline on the July 19th, 2007 edition of TNA Impact concerned Kurt Angle's efforts to get his <laughs> stolen possessions back. The Olympian had his clothes, bag, and title belts all nicked while he was tanning and proceeded to walk around backstage wearing only a red speedo and matching flip-flops at the Universal Studios <laughs> soundstage demanding that they be returned. Along the way, he accused Jeremy Borash of staring at his package and beat up Shark Boy, who he believed was smiling about his fate despite it just being his mask design as well as a backstage production worker who he hit with a running axe handle off Aww. a table. It was ludicrous, <laughs> wonderful entertainment. It all led to a scene where Angle came down to the ring in his bathrobe, was confronted by Samoa Joe, and after countering Joe's attempt to lay him out, ended up putting the Samoan submission machine through a table and slapping on the ankle lock. All this in his bright red speedo. <laughs> Talk about sexy Kurt. Number five, the <laughs> somersault stage dive. As a world-class yep. amateur wrestler, Kurt know Angle about this unsurprisingly one. adopted a pro wrestling style that was heavy on submissions, takedowns, and suplexes. But just because the gold medalist could tie you up in knots or throw you halfway across the ring doesn't mean he was necessarily averse to taking to the Look skies. That visual. Never was this more apparent than during his Falls Count Anywhere battle with Abyss at TNA Turning Point 2008. With the monster recovering on the arena floor, just Angle found this incumbent bro. upon himself to Look do a running this. front flip onto him off the stage. Now, this would be a risky move for your average X Division daredevil, but for a man with a notoriously dodgy neck, don't get me wrong, it was Whoa. a beautifully executed move. Look at but that. if Kurt didn't have a 300 pound human crash pad or was even a fraction of a second off, things could have gone very badly. Bro, he prime perk angle right here. Anytime I think of perk angle, I think of this wild ass clip. He just said, fuck it. <laughs> That's literally what it was. I feel like it's also worth mentioning that this was the same match that Angle put a chair onto Abyss and delivered yep. an inch perfect moonsault just because he was, you know, mental. Yeah. Number four, the raw cage moonsault. This, Speaking of moonsaults, this, one this, of our man's special this is crazy too. was doing a big backflip off the top of a steel cage. Angle could arch with the best of them, though due to his inexperience, he wasn't so confident when it came to actually hitting the move. In fact, much less so after accidentally breaking Bob Holly's arm. Jeez. While he may not have been too hot on actually landing on a specific target, he was more than willing to take a belly flop for the team, even yeah. if it was coming from a great height. On the June 11th, 2001 edition of Monday Night Raw, Kurt and Chris Benoit were given a rare main event singles outing when they were booked in a steel cage grudge match. As Angle tells it, both he and the rabid Wolverine made an extra effort to impress WWE champion Steve Austin, who provided commentary 
commentary from ringside. What they actually ended up doing was scaring the Texas rattlesnake off, with Kurt's insane empty pool bump taking not only the wind out of his own sails, but the breath out of every fan that watching on in awe. Insanity, Number three, bro. the lockdown cage. The way he bounced on them. Oh my God, bro. I want y'all to understand. That ring don't, it, 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 it's no give, bro. <laughs> This is why we love Kurt, bro. Dude destroyed his body to entertain us. It's not much to say. Moonsault. Of course, a spot like a moonsault off the top of a freaking cage isn't something you do just the one time, is it? No. Nope. Not if you perk Angle, anyway. Almost a decade after he went splat on Raw, Angle resurrected the high spot for his brutal and compelling cage contest with Mr. Anderson at TNA Lockdown 2010. Their feud had been incredibly personal up to that point, and both mm -hmm. men pulled out all the stops to deliver a classic. And amazingly, Kurt actually hit the move on this occasion. It was flawless, Ooh. and as much credit Crazy. as Angle deserves for pulling it off, Anderson deserves as much for willingly lying there and putting his life, or his face anyway, in his opponent's free fall hands. Yeah. Anderson has since said that not only did Kurt barely touch him, but that TNA producers had no idea the move was coming. Oh, Angle wow. Angle suspected they wouldn't let him if he told them ahead of time, so he informed Ken on the sly and agreed to take the heat when he got backstage. Wow. Number two, his pathological pursuit. The fact that he said, you know what, we're not going to tell them because they're probably not going to let me do this, but we're going to do this anyway. And they did it. That's Crazy. He, he was on another level, y'all. Of Charmel. There were lots of directions the Kurt oh, Angle character could have gone in after he <laughs> defeated Shawn Michaels in a five star classic at mm -hmm. WrestleMania 21. Angle had real momentum and was on the top of his game. But all he wanted to be on top yeah. of was Booker T's wife, Charmel. Why? Yes, for some bizarre reason, WWE creative forces scripted Kurt to go after <laughs> Charmel, which included some of the creepiest yeah. segments and interviews <laughs> ever seen on WWE TV. From kicking her down and threatening to kidnap her to expressing his desire to have um, interspecies relations with her. <laughs> This shit was getting so weird. I was like, what's happening here, bro? Her angle was a constant menace. I'm sure it wasn't what he envisioned for his future when he was stood on that podium <laughs> in Atlanta is. back in 96, but it was certainly memorable. Not good, of course, but memorable and showed a new side of Kurt's character. The man Sick. himself has labeled it the worst storyline he's ever been a part of, but his dislike for the creative <laughs> direction this. didn't prevent him from giving it his absolute all and allowing himself <laughs> to look like a total and utter deviant. <laughs> Oh my god. I will say this for someone he who didn't like it, he played that shit a little bit too well. That shit was disturbing. Number one, breaking glass with Shane O'Mac. Uh -huh. Nobody, and I mean nobody, expected Kurt Angle and Shane McMahon to go as hard as they did at King of the Ring 2001. Facts. Not only was Kurt pretty clean cut and scientific as far as his wrestling style was concerned, but he had already wrestled two tournament matches earlier that night. Mm -hmm. Shane, meanwhile, was happy to get his hands dirty in a hardcore environment, but there is a world of difference between dirty hands and a body full of broken glass. Yeah. Here's Street fight was going swimmingly when they decided to make their way to the stage set for a pre-planned stunt. Kurt was supposed to throw Shane through some gimmick sheets of glass, but unbeknownst to the combatants, WWE's props department had switched it out for the real thing as they were worried that the explosion caused by the show's pyro would cause it to shatter. Well, the fireworks didn't break it, but oh Shane's head did, God. eventually anyway. After several attempts, Angle hit a suplex and then simply threw Shane face first through the sharp stuff. Mm -hmm. It is still one of the damnedest things ever witnessed during a WWE show and Back. a textbook example of Kurt Angle going full perk. <laughs> Bro, I can't say, hey, you going through this fucking glass, Shane. I want you to understand this. Your dad understands. <laughs> classic, classic match, classic segment. Man. Bro, this is perk angle is he's he was he was different, man. I'm glad that he's obviously, you know, past that that's in his past. You know, substance abuse, all jokes aside, is not good. You know, he was definitely dealing with a lot of pain and, you know, ultimately got hooked 
to said perks and uh, the rehab for him was very very hard so i'm glad he was able to overcome that but at the same time when he was on those perks he was given some of the best matches even though he probably shouldn't have you know it's 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 crazy how things happen but it's all a testament to you know show appreciation to the wrestlers because they be putting their body through hell for decades just to entertain us so uh it's always good to be able to show our appreciation to those who put their bodies on the line but comment down below let me know your favorite moment when kurt angle was per angle I, I know i know well, but he he was still putting on some good matches while highly dosed up on perks so let me know your favorite moment when he was perk angle for a little bit favorite match favorite promo whatever it was let me know down below but i appreciate all love support you guys shout on channel road to 150k and i'm still young speedy youtube wrestling champion world appreciate y'all kicking in with me see y'all next one peace